Phoenix and Six. Half the bucks in the series. You're delusional. Your basketball card should be revoked. I need to see more. Yo. You, you are my, my Yo, what is up, everybody? Welcome back to Sports Center. It's Aiden. I am Derek Sums, and welcome back to the show. Today, guys, we have another NFL episode, and this is a very special episode, one unlike any other, because today we're joined uh, by a very special guest. And he is the main guy behind the scenes. He is our editor. He is our producer. The one and only TD. And today, we are doing our NXT playoff prediction. So far this season, we've gotten a fair judgment on to, to determine whether or not these teams are playoff bound or not. So, TD, without further ado, I'm going to give you the floor. Give us your top seven teams in the NFC you expect to make the playoffs this year. Glad to be welcomed on the show. And to start it off, my seventh seed is the Minnesota Vikings. Uh, probably about around where I expected them to be uh, at the beginning of the, the season, May, uh, being a playoff team, not too high of a playoff team because of the division they are in. Uh, you know, they have a pretty good offense, top five running back in Dalvin Cook, and they have weapons, but I don't really see them making it, to be honest, out the first round with how stacked this NFC is. The 60s, the 49ers. 49ers are in a very tough division, NMC West, I would say the toughest. And that's one of the reasons why they are the sixth seed. They didn't start out that well, you know, being that they have tough, tough uh, schedule, things of that nature. And yeah, sixth seed. My fifth seed, the Rams. The Rams uh, came into the season with High expectations for sure. Uh, with the new signing of Matthew Stafford, um, getting that piece that they uh, were missing, and you know they also they still have that great defense that they continued from last year. But Aaron Donald and Jalen Ramsey, they even added more pieces right. uh, to the puzzle while adding OBJ and Von Miller. Super team. And you know they even though they are a fit seed. I could see a possibility in where they do go to the Super Bowl to win it all. I'm just going to say this now. I believe whoever makes it out of the NFC wins, takes it all, wins the Super Bowl. My fourth seed, the Dallas Cowboys. <laughs> Your Dallas Cowboys, there is. I know you're you know, smiling a little bit, but uh, but they had a uh, they, this season, they had a very good season. Um, so for starters, Dak playing great after that nasty injury he had last season. Also, the defense has stepped up big time compared to last year. Um, a lot of that is due to their draft, uh, the draft of Michael Parsons, who's, had, who's having a phenomenal rookie campaign. And it's no question the defensive player of the year. And also, Trevon Diggs, who is an absolute ball hawk and my favorite DB this season. Uh, yeah, they did. They have had head, a couple head scratchers. They questioned them if they're ready to take it all with like the Broncos and the Raiders, but I don't think they have anything to worry about being the division they're in. Anyone sneaking up behind them. Uh, the hardest game coming up is the Cardinals, who uh, I do have them losing to. But uh, next to my on, on to my third seed. The Bucs, uh, there's not much to say about the Bucs, to be honest. They have the undisputed GOAT, Tom Brady, who is my favorite to win MVP this season. Uh, they still have a great defense. They basically just have the same team from last year, and they are looking to replete. And I can see there's a very strong possibility that they do, actually. Uh, although every now and then they do have them head scratcher, just like the Cowboys, with their loss against – the Saints in Washington. On to my second uh, seed, uh, the Cardinals. They've been very dominant this season, which is somewhat surprising in my opinion. I expected them to be, I expected since they had like a tough division with the Seahawks, the Rams, the 49ers, that they were be in contention for a playoff spot but like not winning the division. But the reason they are in the position they are because 
people have stepped up, like Colin Murray, who is taking it to the next level and playing like an MVP candidate. And finally, my first seed in the NFC goes to the Green Bay Packers and that bad man in the North. Uh, they did scare us in that first game against the Saints, you know. That Saints lost pretty bad, 38 to 3. Absolutely horrible. Uh, but they got back on track with a seven game win streak. Uh, they, they, I have them winning out the rest of their games because I don't see any team that will beat them except for maybe the Ravens, but they're the Ravens defense is pass defense is pretty bad. They're 31st in the league, which is, you know, just atrocious. And yeah, I'll be giving the floor back to you, Darius. I feel like that's a pretty good list. And our lists are pretty similar. Same same teams, but um yeah, but they're pretty much in a different order. Well, like two teams. But uh same as UTD, I have the Vikings in number seven. And there have been a lot of questionable games for the Vikings. And I said going into the season, like a couple episodes back, I said the Vikings and the Chargers are gonna be the two most surprising teams this season. Now, so far defensively, the Vikings have been pretty atrocious. You know, you're missing some key pieces, right? Um, Dalvin Cook is going to IR this past game against San Francisco, uh, which is going to be a huge loss. Kirk Cousins, uh, surprisingly, is having a great season passing-wise. He's one of the most underappreciated players in the league, one of the most unappreciated QBs in the league by far. <laughs> With the offense, Adam Thielen, Justin Jefferson, um, just an elite offense, but you know, T, like you said, I don't see them making it past the first round. But you know, that could possibly change. That could have changed the season if we expected more of their defense. Um, number sixteen, my number six seed is the Rams. Uh, surprisingly, because going to the season, everybody was talking about Matthew Stafford, and uh, I was very questionable about uh, the Stafford pickup, and I think Matthew Stafford. TD. I think Bone Take here. I feel like you can make a clip out of this. I feel like Matthew Stafford may be the reason why the Rams may not make it far in the playoffs this year. And I don't think it's just because of their offensive ability because Cooper Cup is playing like the best wide receiver in the game of football right now. And you bring in Odell Beckham Jr. in his past game against Green Bay, he, he caught a very critical touchdown down the stretch. Defensively, you bring in Vaughn Miller. Um, on a very, very great deal, I might add. And you also have Aaron Donald, arguably the best corner in the league, and Jalen Ramsey, one of the top ranked defenses. But you look at Matthew Stafford these past couple of games, and I think starting with that Tennessee game, Matthew Stafford is playing uh, like a Detroit Lion right now. And I don't feel like Matthew Stafford could turn that around throughout the remainder of the season. And if Matthew Stafford does not at least when a playoff game for the Rams in this season, I feel like the Rams may have to go in a different direction. My number five seed is the 49ers. And the 49ers, by far, are not the most talented team in the NFC West. You're playing in a very tough division. Of course, arguably the toughest division in the entire league. And right now, the 49ers, these past couple games, I believe, yeah, like on the three-game winning streak, you're playing phenomenal on both sides of the ball. Offensively, um, you look at that receiver core with Debo Samuel, who just went on IR for about one or well, not IR, but he's out for the next one to two weeks. That one game, uh, it is working pretty well. You know, that must go office with Kyle Shanahan as your head coach is working in your favor. George Kittle is coming back off of some injuries, he's returning back to 100%. And you know, Jimmy G, a quarterback, he's not the best quarterback, you know. He's not the most efficient quarterback, but he can, but he can win you some games. Though know, right now, I feel like the 49ers are close to being alive for the playoffs this year. Um, my number four seed is the Cowboys, and I feel like I'm not very con. Well, I wouldn't say I'm not very confident in this team. It's just this team is very is so iffy each and every week, whether either it's the offense is not clicking or the defense is not clicking. So if that O-line is healthy, that offense is clicking on all cylinders. Defensively, you know, 
Michael Parsons is, is not just playing like a defensive rookie of the year. He's a guy for defensive rookie of the year. No argument at all. But he's also playing like a defensive player of the year in his first season, which is incredible. And you have guys like Trayvon Diggs, right? And then when it comes to the secondary, and when it comes to guys like guys like Anthony Brown, who just had like four pass interferences against the Raiders, guys who were so iffy and so unpredictable, where guys can go off for monster games at the quarterback position, it is very iffy. I have the Cowboys winning the NFC East right now for sure. Have them win the NFC East. Gun playoff time. I trust my Cowboys, but it could go either way. And uh, my third seed is the Bucks. I mean, the Bucks are a great team. You have the greatest quarterback to ever play the game. T, like you said, um, mm-hmm. you know, you basically have all your starters from last year's Super Bowl coming back. But it's just this season is different, and there are two more teams I see are better than the Bucks. Both talent wise, and I feel like the two teams I'm about to name are just ready right now. I'm not saying that the Bucks aren't ready. If the Bucks make the NFC Championship game and make the Super Bowl, it's definitely not a surprise. I see them winning out more than half the half of their remaining games for sure. But if the Bucks get eliminated, I wouldn't be surprised. But if they made the Super Bowl, I wouldn't be surprised either because you have the greatest quarterback to ever play at the starting position. Um, my number two seed is the Packers. And I feel like right now, Aaron Rodgers is the best quarterback in the league, uh, even despite some injury concerns. Aaron Rodgers, you know, we don't know the full details yet, but he may get a minor surgery. he get a minor surgery in the next couple of days, and he can still play on Sunday. So that's something definitely to look out for. When I look at this uh, Packers team offensively, I just love this Packers offense, whether um, – Aaron Jones, who was out these past couple of games, but then you have guys like A.J. Dillion. Then when your wide receiver core, Devontae Adams, arguably the best wide receiver in the game. Then you bring him back, then you bring back Randall Cobb, which Aaron, at Aaron Rodgers requests, which is so huge when you have Randall Cobb in the slot. Defensively, we have seen, like you, like you mentioned, that Saints game where you look like everything was about to blow up in flames, and then these past couple of weeks, like the shutout against Seattle, where you're playing phenomenal defense um, when Russell Wilson returned from his long-term injury. You click on all cylinders defensively, and they're coming together, and that's something we really did not see until, let's say, around the playoffs last season. So this Packers defense has been impressive in my eyes, but I feel like the Packers right now are the number two seed. But the number one seed right now is the Cardinals. And T.J. like you mentioned, they've been very surprising. I agree with you on everything you said about the Cardinals. You know, Kyle Murray would be the MVP. He deserves to be the MVP, but he's not, thanks to him missing these past couple games to the injury. Um, and if he did, if he was healthy all of these 17 games, uh, he would for sure run away with the MVP of the season. Um, these past couple games, you look at the Seattle game, that was a very, very great win. That was a great team win for them, knowing that you're without – your two best players, D Hop and Kyler, and you have a backup quarterback in Colt McCoy, who is one of the more inconsistent backup Kiwis in the league. He comes in, goes to Seattle in a very difficult environment to play in, and cut and you come out with the win. And when you look at this Cardinals team, I expect him to get this first round by. Do I expect him to see the NFC championship game? Possibly. But this is just the beginning of what we should expect for the Cardinals these next couple of years. So right now, the Cardinals are right now for me the best team in the NFC, but the gap between the Cardinals, the Packers, and the Bucks are very, very close. If I had to say a team who is coming out of the NFC to go to the NFC championship game or go to the Super Bowl this year, right now I feel like it's between the Packers, the Bucks, and the Cowboys right now. Um so those are my three top teams in the NFC. Uh, TD, um, what are your thoughts on the list, man? So, uh, our list is very similar. I see, I can see the list going that way. Uh, and I didn't mention my top three like you did. My top three would be, uh, probably in this order, number 
three, the Packers, number two, the Cardinals, number one, the Bucks, because, you know, Tom the Goat Brady, I am a strong believer in Tom Brady. And, yeah. But All right. wouldn't be surprised if anyone else made it, except for maybe, like, the 49ers and the Vikings. Yeah, I feel you. Uh, do you think there is a sleeper team, like, in the hunt? You look at these teams. Um, no, you get the Washington football team and the New York Giants, who are surprisingly still in the hunt. You get other teams, you know, whether it's in the NFC South, you know, Carolina's still in the hunt. Do you see any other NFC team, any, any other NFC team that could possibly um, uh, find their way in the playoffs this year? Well, as you said, I uh, see uh, possibly, possibly, just possibly the, uh, the Washington football team. Uh, and also see the Panthers as teams that could possibly sneak their way in. Other teams, out of this very slim chance. Yeah. Very good. yeah. Right now, it looks like the Washington football team, um, betting wise, statistically have the best chance to possibly slip into the wild card spot and take the number seven seed from right down to be ranked as the Vikings. But so far, it looks like the playoffs may be set in stone with these seven teams right now. So, TD, uh, do you have any final words, man? Uh, well, First off, glad to be on the show, like I said earlier. Yeah, yeah appreciate it, man. Uh, glad yeah. to be on some more. Yeah, appreciate you being on the show, man. Um, me and TD will be back as we cover AFC playoff predictions in our next couple episodes. But without further ado, this has been Sports Under's Aiden. I am Darius Sams. I support TD. Me, we'll see you on the next episode. Until then, everybody, peace. Peace.